Hey, hello everyone, Palitub here. Welcome back to Hero's Journey. We find ourselves outside of the Gilmore Hero's Grave. There's something very special in here that I want to grab for our run. Some of you have been asking, why aren't we summoning companions? It's our second playthrough. Shouldn't we be summoning some companions? Well, last episode was dedicated to making ourselves stronger. And this episode is going to be no different. We have explored this place before. We came in here on Deb. And I believe, unless I'm mistaken, it was a very important place for Deb's story as well. And unfortunately, Deb was a little bit better equipped for some of the threats that this place houses. Like, you know, the lava floors and the endless amounts of undead scurrying across these lava floors. We went into one of these heroes' graves very recently, and inside of these, they're basically mega catacombs. You'll find, oh God, he's coming back. You'll find these chariots that just scour the grounds, trying to run over anything that moves, stopping them from gaining ground inside of the hero's grave. Uh, however, last time we were here, we had a uh, gravehound step, bloodhound step, bloodhound step. That's what it's called. <gasps> oh, fuck. What the fuck? Why did it stop right there? Uh, we had Bloodhound Step, which allowed us to, like, go into the lava and keep moving at full speed. I am sad to report that Hero does not have that. So things might go a little different. Fuck! Oh, for us today! One thing Hero does have, though, is a lot of health. Look at me, I'm kind of shrugging these off. Kind of like it's nothing. Sometimes, anyway. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get our bearings. Let's get ready. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, <laughs> please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps us out a ton. Oh my God, I cannot move in this stuff. Ugh. We almost died there. And of course, if you're new to the channel, fuck. <laughs> and like what we're doing, I encourage you to subscribe. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't think I can. <sighs> All right. So, how do we fix this little conundrum? In Kalid, as far northeast as we can go, there's a minor Erd tree over here. It looks like I have not taken down the boss that resides here. Looks like it's gonna be immune to rot, so we might have to use our dragon ice against it. However, this is totally optional. We don't really need to be here. Let's see how this goes for us. Quick dodge. We're also gonna use our physic pretty early on. Oh God, this guy hits hard. Oh yeah. Good start. All right, my dude, stay settled. Let's start with a little bit of ice to kick things off. Somehow he was just outside of its range. Oh, there we go. Now we're hitting him a little bit. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it did a ton of damage and he's moving in pretty hot now. I'm gonna try one more time. We're still absorbing one hit, so that's totally fine. But the real game begins now. Let's begin the dual wield. I believe this is, yes indeed, one of the guys that leaves Scarlet Rot whenever he jumps. So when he does any aerial stuff, we need to move away pretty quickly. And that's a very big delay on that overhead swing. Here we go again, up into the air. We just literally beeline it anywhere that isn't in front of him. As long as we keep rinsing and repeating, we should be fine. Although this is starting to change things up a bit. Mounting up on Torrent, we're just going to go in a very large circle around our putrid avatar friend here. Uh, he's keeping up with us pretty well. I'm gonna drink a little bit more mana potions just in case we're feeling feisty in a little bit. Although he's going up again, that's gonna force me out. We might be able to frost breath here. Yeah, 1,700 damage, that's not bad. Uh, trying to immunity frame. Hey, we 
got it! Not what I was actually trying to dodge. But I don't hate that it happened. One thing we could try is just using the frost attack on Torrent as we're kiting this guy around. That might be worth it. Dual wielding again. Let's cut into this leg. Oh, big sweep from him. We get the perfect immunity frame. He's below half now. We just need to keep up the good work. He's jumping. We're leaving. I'm going to pick up my pride off the ground. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need those 50 souls for later. That's for sure. <laughs> big swing. There it is. I don't think he's poisoned. Ouch. And I haven't seen him bleed yet, so I don't even know if those two things are possible. I do like that our build is countered by a lot of enemies in the game, because when our status effects work, they feel really, really, really strong. Oh, wow. You really flung that one, my dude. So I'm actually relieved to see some enemies just stand up to what Hero is putting down. Uh, we're going to do a big move again as he's going airborne, working our way back up the road. Anywhere to get him out of that shit. Although, here we go. Mounting up. Just start dashing around in a big circle to avoid these projectiles behind us. Back in melee range. Big swing goes over us. We're behind him now. A few decent hits there as well, but he's going to force us out again just immediately. This must be what it's like playing against me. Except the bosses don't know better to kite it out. <laughs> they just go in, bro. Big overhead swing. We dodge no problem. Couple more swings and we got him, boys. Use the thing. Got it. How many are you worth? What are you worth? Just a regular enemy. He's not a giant enemy or any. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? He's worth 142,000? What? Well, whoa, that was a really big payday. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, I don't know what all this lightning means as I'm approaching this tower. Truth be told, I've never been over here. This is going to be a first for me. I don't know if this stuff is targeted on me or not. Um, is there a place to rest here? I'm seeing an open cemetery. I'm not seeing any grace, although it might just be... Oh, I... Oh, 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 oh. So, how do I get down there, then? There is a branch I could fall on here. Oh, there's one of those air sites. I could have just jumped onto that. Okay, perfect. So, the reason we are here is if we are here at nighttime which we're about to be as soon as I change change our time. I can't believe that guy was worth that many souls. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and level up while we're here, too. That's going to be at least... Oh, that's three levels in Arcade and one in Vigor. That is beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, let's uh, pass time. We want to be here at night. Because on this road, one of our dear old friends is going to show up at nighttime. Of course, we are talking about the Knight's Calvary. We are no stranger to the Knight's Calvary. I've killed them both on screen and off screen throughout this entire playthrough. Uh, this one... Hold on. Can we do something cool with this ledge, maybe? I'm going to eat a pickled foul foot pretty early here. I think I'll be able to rush this guy down. Although he might be the strongest one for all I know, honestly. Okay, he's not in range yet. I'm going to send it now. He kind of stopped. Yeah, yeah, he stopped on the road. Yeah, he... <laughs> he stopped on the road and stared at me. Great start. Come this way, bud. That's a little more like it. Uh, he did take rot as well. It is setting in. Big dodge here. We're going to breathe one more time. This time, Frost coming his way. Oh, he doesn't seem to like that very much at all either. Okay, drinking our mana potion. We are going to pull out the scythe and hit him with... <laughs> yes, indeed. A poison cloud directly on top of him as well. That melee attack from him did hit very hard. 
I'm gonna try to dismount him if I can with the jumping R2. It doesn't look like it connect. He does have, ooh, a lot of HP. Holy fuck, he hit sword. I have to dodge here, I'm dead. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't regret eating my foul foot yet, but I might soon. <laughs> jumping R2. Roll, jumping R2. Can I dismount him? One more, I think, and that would have done it. Bro, he's dead soon. We gonna drink one more time? Oh, that was a big sweep. Oh, ouch, oh God. Wait, am I seeing the horse health bar right now? Oh yeah, I am. Hey, shithead. We did the exact same attack. <laughs> All right, we're in. That's good damage. That's good damage. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Okay, and the foul foot was still intact. I regret nothing. How much are you worth? 65,000. Not bad. But more importantly, the Ash of War Bloodhounds step. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You remember our venomous fang from before. Well, we're back in the hero's grave and I swapped out its Ash of War with that of a Bloodhound. This means that we can phase in and out of existence for a short period of time. Extremely potent defensive spell. We are going to use it mostly for the mobility that it brings allowing us to move very quickly through this very dangerous area. But we can also theoretically use our, our physic and make it so it doesn't drain any of our mana in the process as well. Well, we are in the thick of the lava now, heading down to the bottom. I know there's a correct way to go, and I know that's on the right. I do not remember what's on the left, so I'm going to take a quick visit over here. Swap back out to our dual wield katanas. I am not seeing any movement yet, but that doesn't mean there won't be some soon. Gray violet on the ground. And we are going to find... The ringed finger. I forgot about this weapon. It was so weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, health potion. And then I'm going to head straight across. Weapon equipped. We're good. Here we go. Perfect. And now from here, we're dropping down onto this ledge and then down to this ledge. And that literally skips the entire dungeon. Like, damn near all of it. We're at the last door right now. It looks like there is an item down here. Let me see what it is. Beast blood. And this particular chariot, we've killed some in the past. This one can't be killed. Instead, you can actually jump on its back, which I think is super duper weird. Uh, I did not level up. And... I do not remember what this boss is, so this is incredibly risky. But let's live a little bit, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead. Flask. Rot. I'm ready. Hey, it's the Red Wolf! Hey, friend! Oh, fuck! Hey, settle down. No, 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 no. Don't jump at me like that, Red Wolf. Stay back. None of that hit him. Okay, 73,000 souls sitting in the middle of that room. And I need to go in there to take this guy down. Okay, there is a shrine right outside, a statue right outside, so we don't have to go far. That's good. That's very good. Is there anything in this room that can attack me? No, I don't think so. Okay. So we still have the carry and parry ready to go. Let's try to land that at least a little bit. That way we're shooting back spells at this guy too. 
It seems like it's going to be difficult to get rot on him. I wonder if he just runs forward. I have to get my souls first before we can experiment with anything. Okay, I'm just going to do a big back. Try to line of sight some of these spells. Oh my god, he's literally just chasing me though. Right here. Oh my god, he has no health. He has no- I repeat. I repeat, he has no HP to speak of. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, though. Well, the rot is set in. Big moves from us. Let's try to get poison in here, too. Hold on, shield back up. We're ready to do a wield. Good hit. Holy shit. Bro. We might be able to just come in here and trade with this guy. No joke. Well, I believe we have victory as long as we stay alive. And I'm pretty good at kiting, so we should be totally fine. What do we get for doing this, you might be wondering? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I find myself back in Stormvale Castle. This is where we fought Godric the Grafted and that guy on the bridge right there. Well, we talked to an NPC that was in this hut right outside the Storm Hill Shack. We talked to her in like episode one. It's been quite some time now. However, she is the character we need to upgrade our summons. And that's something I'm very interested in doing right now. A lot of you have been wondering, are you gonna use summons in this playthrough? Why aren't you using summons? We wanna see that part of the game. You didn't do that part of the game very much last time. Well, I was waiting for the right run. The, the, the right one. Oh God, it's a big moment and I can't even speak. I thought it would be fun. And you guys can let me know if we keep this idea going or not. I think it's kind of a cool idea. I think we should always have a summon that represents our previous character. So Deb was through and through a bloodhound. So we are going to get a bloodhound summon to represent her. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Where that guy with many, many arms in the center of this castle was, I think I needed to loot an item there to keep her quest going. Uh, we're almost there. I think it's just on a bunch of corpses, and I'm pretty sure we already killed the... Oh, no, we didn't kill the mini-arm guy. Well, he's about to have a very rude awakening if he comes around this corner. Why don't you come around this corner? I'm going to drink my physic so I can just sit here and channel, and I'm going now. Ice! Send it! Make him suffer! Uh, there is an elevator to this guy. What was this it? Highland X? No. There is an elevator to this guy right at the end of the hallway, but I never opened that elevator. So if you're like me, you're in this exact same position. Maybe. Well, this might be it. So down the main hallway, kind of towards the elevator. Elevator's right there. We take a left into here. If this is what I'm thinking it is. Indeed it is. This is what the girl who upgrades your summons is looking for. Uh, I didn't grab it when we came through the first time, but now I need it. So we came back. Do I need to talk to this guy about her? Well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your arms then. About Radreka. The girl you bought here, she's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. Yeah, that sounds right. She has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. Okay, that is probably a good sign. Hey. It's all a bit much. I'm still. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, yeah, did the blacksmith sucks. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift. I mean, yeah, that. I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? 
I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. That would be great. Certainly he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. Okay, this is going well. This is going well. Okay. She should, next time we reset, come over here. I hope that medallion thing was actually right. It seemed like the the guide I was reading on this was crazy broken. Hey, she's not there anymore. Okay, so now that she's moved in here. Good to see you again. I have you to thank, don't I? Yes, you do for persuading that guy. I totally did that. It's great to see you in here, though. I'm glad you're sitting down. Sorry, I'm talking over everything that you're doing. Okay, what we are here to do is upgrade our ashes for the Bloodhound Night Flow. In order to do this, we are going to need Ghost Glove Wart. I don't know where to get this stuff from. Apparently, I have a little bit sitting around. Glow's Glove Wart 4, 5, 6. So these come from Catacombs. I don't know which ones. I hit them all off camera. because Well, not all of them, but a lot of them off camera. We did this one. We did one over here. We did one over here. We did a few heading up the coast. Basically, I just ran in and looted all the flowers and then left. That's what I was trying to do. But that allows me to summon in a much stronger version of the Bloodhound than I would be able to do otherwise. Unfortunately, the Bloodhound, um, well, I guess there's no good way of putting this. The... The Bloodhound requires more mana than what I have. It was like <laughs> maybe nine more than what I have. So I need to go level up. Oh, I know what we could go for. The Avenue Balcony inside of the Capitol had a really big enemy out front that we should be able to deal with no problem. And if we use, this is the right place, yes. And if we use one of our pickled foul feet, we should get a lot of souls for this. So uh, I'm gonna pop my stuff early. Here we are with my seal. Where's the fucking enemy? Hello? Do I have to run from this way? Do you just appear? What's going on? Oh, that sucks. All right, casting. Hopefully not immune to rock this time. No, it isn't. And that means it's probably not immune to poison either, huh? That's a nice change of pace. Oh, the last ones have been oh, very resistant to this stuff. Big sweep there. We managed to get under it. No problem. Big damage here, too. Pretty proud of that. Let's back up a little bit and heal. Maybe get some extra mana as well. And I'm going to go ahead and eat that foul foot. We can line of sight this spell this time around. Easy does it. And as the boss comes... Oh, he did it twice! As the boss comes back around... Ice through the doorway! Yes! Yes! How many souls did you give me? It's a lot, right? You got a lot of souls in there? Come on. 15,000? That's nothing! I do have some of these sitting around. Come to think of it. Ooh, that's a lot. Perfect. 95 was exactly what I needed, unless the cost went up. Which I don't think it did. Yes, 95 FP cost. That's exactly what I have. So this will summon in a Bloodhound Knight to help fight with us. And I know the exact enemies I want to try this on. If you watch Deb's playthrough, you're going to know exactly why I'm here here that may have been a confusing cut we are inside of the arosia heroes grave i was in this place for three hours at least in my original playthrough as dev the bloodhound i thought it would be poetic to let the bloodhound come back in here and get some revenge I'm so confident I'm going to eat a foul foot now. 
Physique is on. Move through the door. Summon in the Bloodhound. The Bloodhound should get some of their attention. There she goes! And then we spread the rot! <laughs> oh, that got them back on me. The rot has not set in yet on our Crucible Night friends. But what about this time? Oh, they are both taking damage over time. You know what? I'm going to drink a mana flask and go back in with the frost breath. One more mana flask. This guy's already in phase two. The other crucible knight is getting the shit beat out of him on the far side. That was frost proc. And a perfect dodge. Parry. I gotta be able to parry. I gotta be able to parry. I might swap out shields. I have a quick second. Here we go. Perfect. That's phase two on the other one. Jeez. I mean, really, what else do I need to do here? Rot is on both of them. I could probably just kite. <laughs> At least until this first one dies. And then we, ow! And then we can make this a 1v1 so easy. Good dodge, good dodge. Thought I was safe to heal, I was not. Holy shit, those claws hurt. However, so does the rot. And he's taken down, this guy's gonna fly through. He might tail swipe and I need to be ready for that. He didn't go for it. <laughs> well, roll out. Perfect, we're fine. <laughs> I guess this fight went a little different this time. I still have foul foot. Poison wore off. That's the double swing. Shit. Big heal. Oh, I thought I was out of range. Still have foul foot. Got it. Woo! Yeah, that went a little bit better this time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that feels incredible. This is the fight I learned to parry on. I was not going to leave until I got this fight down. And eventually we did get it. But we didn't, we didn't even need a montage this time. Bro, Hero annihilated this. So yeah, Deb is going to be my summon. And then when our next character plays through the game, we'll try to get them a samurai to play through with as well. I don't know if that's actually a thing we could do. If if nothing else, we can make... Uh, I know there's for sure a summon that does like rot damage. We could bring that in on our next character to fit the hero theme. I hope you guys enjoyed this little surprise. I thought it was pretty cool. And it's a good way to actually get me to use summons again. I know I usually do things the hard way by myself. Thank, thank you guys so much for being here. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. You know, I heard there's a festival going on somewhere. Maybe we should play it a visit.